I'd ask you to all please remain standing for a moment of silence. I'd ask that you keep in your thoughts and prayers the brave servicemen and women serving our country, both here and abroad. Thank you. Please be seated. Happy New Year to everyone. Uh, could I ask the clerk to uh, please call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Here. Councilman Mineta. Here. Councilman McSweeney. Here. Councilman Gregory. Here. Supervisor Schaefer. And I am here, so we have a quorum present. All five are present for today. Uh, just by way of information, if you're here in person or if you're watching us live on our YouTube channel at 3 o'clock on January 4th, this is a meeting of the Babylon Town Board. It's, in fact, it's the organizational meeting for the 2023 year. Uh, meeting is divided up into three sections. The first is dedicated to the public hearings. There are three public hearings scheduled for today. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about the public hearings, you can click on the link on our channel and uh, send us a question or comment. We'll be happy to get back to you. Uh, second portion is dedicated to the agenda. There are agendas on the table up front, so if you're interested in addressing the board on any of the items on the agenda, uh, we ask you to fill out a card up front and file with our town clerk. Sec uh, third portion is the open portion, uh, when residents can come forward and address the board on any matters not on today's agenda concerning town government or town services. And again, if you are watching us either live uh, at 3 o'clock on the 4th or at a future time, you can still utilize that link uh, and send us an email. We'll be happy to get back to you and answer any questions or comments that you might have. Uh, with that, we'll go into the um, public hearing schedule for today and the first public hearing, which is a public hearing on rezoning application of Alzheimer's Foundation of America Planning Board Job 22-32AE for the premises identified as Suffolk County Tax Map Number 0100-123-2-21.5. Zero zero five, located on the northwest corner of Albany Avenue and Schlegel Boulevard, North Amityville, for the applicant. And, uh, and when you do come forward, just identify yourself, name and address. Will do. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Kathleen Deegan Dixon, a partner in the law firm of Percelli Deegan Tirana, 333 Earl Ovington Boulevard, Uniondale, New York. Here on behalf of the applicant, the Alzheimer's Foundation of America, first, Happy New Year, everybody. Nice Happy to New be Year. here. Uh, so the Alzheimer's Foundation of America is in contract to purchase the property located at 149 Schlegel Boulevard in North Amityville from the uh, Sisters of St. Dominic, who have used that location as their convent for the last many, many years. Um, they no longer have need of it as a convent and have put it up for sale. Uh, the Alzheimer's Foundation of America is... Um, is seeking to locate their Long Island operations here to expand out of New York City and to bring their services to the residents of the town of Babylon and the, uh, and the Long Island community. Um, in order to do so, uh, we're seeking a change of zone from B residents to E business for this property. Um, and will permit the conversion of the residents to uh, AFA's first Long Island location for day programs and offices. Uh, they will be keeping their headquarters in New York City and just expanding their outreach to Long Island uh, and will be converting the existing building, uh, just doing interior and site renovations uh, with no expansion of the building. Uh, we've been before the planning board on November 14th of 2022 for site plan review and uh, for their uh, preliminary review of the change of zone and I believe that they've made a recommendation to this board on the conditions should the board choose to, uh, to grant the change of zone. Uh, the surrounding uses in the community are uh, very compatible with what's being proposed. Uh, there are several nonprofit services and institutions in the area despite it being a residentially, uh, res residentially zoned property. Um, the neighborhood is mixed use with uses that include the Dominican Village Assisted Living Facility right across Albany Avenue, um, the Catholic Charities offices and residences immediately next door. Um, there's other nonprofits and religious institutions, um, multifamily residences, single family homes, and then some more commercial and industrial uses just to the north. Uh, this nonprofit use, which day programs and supporting offices, is not permitted in the Residence B District, uh, hence our, our appearance here today. 
although it is similar to many of the other uses that exist in the neighborhood. So we are seeking the change of zone. Um, interestingly, there's no zoning district that permits this use other than the e-business and the industrial districts. Uh, so we had discussions with the planning department early on uh, and determined that the e-business district was really the most suitable uh, and low impact district for this change of zone. Um, it will be a very low impact use. Uh, we are hoping that many of the residents in the area, especially in some of the assisted living and um, other multiple residences, will be able to avail themselves of the services. Uh, the hours of operation will be general business hours, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., with no activities on the weekends uh, and no, no evening activities. Um, the, um, th we submitted with our application a traffic study, and I have with us here uh, Representative Amanda La Rosa from Stonefield <laughs> Engineers, uh, if you have questions on that traffic study. Uh, but it, the conclusions there are that there are no negative impacts. Um, the, uh, it's actually going to be a very low traffic generator with approximately six full-time employees at the site. Uh, the, the programs will be day programs throughout the, the day designed to give relief to caregivers and to provide recreation therapies to individuals who suffer from Alzheimer's, things like dance therapy, um, art therapy, music therapy, and the like. Um, probably three to four programs on any given day. Uh, most programs run about an hour, so you can hear just in the way that it's operationally uh, gonna be somewhat restrictive to itself. Uh, people who avail themselves of the services can be dropped off by their caregivers. Caregivers can either go about their business, get a, a couple hours of respite, or they can stay and enjoy the grounds or avail themselves of other services, supportive services that AFA will offer to uh, family caregivers. So I, I have also submitted with our original application a report by PW Grocer on the compatibility of land uses in the area. Um, I know you guys have a very busy agenda tonight. Uh, all of the information is in the packet. Uh, but I do have our experts here if you do have specific questions or if you'd like to hear direct testimony from any of them. Each of the board members has received the reports that you reference. Good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Okay. We just have one card on this. Annie Alexander. Good afternoon, Good everyone. Afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Annie Alexander, and I am um, owner of one of the homes on the south side of the proposed zoning change. And I'm here representing Florida State Homeowners Association, which consists of 25 homeowners. And that uh, began from Debbie Lane to Susan Lane, which is a U-shaped development, Susan Lane, Debbie Lane, and Jeetham Lane. <clears throat> As I said, we're on the south side of the pro pro proposed site, and our neighborhood has been in, in existence for more than 47 years. So we have seen many people come to this area to try to rezone it. And we have been very patient and accommodating um, to some of the change but we have been inundated with industrial and uh, commercial uh, companies that want to come in on our area of residence. And we're seeing now that we will be um, reducing, having our property value reduced by some of these services that's coming in. I do respect the um, uh, young lady who mentioned the fact that um, they're building a, a um, center for dementia patients. And we all will be getting old and none of us will know what will happen to us where we might need that service. So I agree with her, we do need that service. But I'm asking you to reject the re zoning of our neighborhood. It's just right across the street. They don't have enough parking. I don't see what size the building will be because Albany Avenue is very busy. 
has two stop signs where people don't seem to stop even though they see the sign. And then on Slalo Boulevard, it's um, like she said, the Catholic Charities have many other services that they're providing for the people. And <clears throat> sometimes it interferes with the um, traffic of the bus for the children that go to school. Sometimes it's on both lane and Slagle Boulevard. It's not big enough for people parked on both sides of the lane and for traffic to go back and forth. The same thing on Albany Avenue. I, the egress will be uh, horrible trying to get in and out of there. People visiting, um, they will have to come on Slagle Boulevard and they will have to park in that area. Um, Another thing that I was really perplexed about is that when they had called this meeting, only a few homeowners were given writ a written notification about it, and the time was set at 3 o'clock when most people work, so they don't have a chance to come and express their feelings about this new rezoning. So as I said, I'm here to represent 25 homeowners. Um, and we reject the changing of the residential B to E. And our taxes are already very, very high. We contribute a lot of money to the town of Babylon. At least each house pays over $10,000 a year. And we would like to keep our home um, very nice because we put, invested a lot of money in our property to, to live there. And as I said, I have no objection to this young lady for uh, asking for that, but maybe we should propose to put that site on um, a new highway. The Catholic uh, Division have land on that side too. So that would be, already, it's already zoned in a, um, uh, E, I think E zone because this new horizon on that side. Um, Maybe you can consider that. And I thank you for your attention. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Okay. Do you have anything to add, Kathleen? I did just, <coughs> excuse me. I did just want to clarify for the record, I didn't uh, show the site plan, but uh, to Ms. Alexander's point, uh, parking could be difficult there, but we are providing a new parking lot on the site. Um, And we'll be able to accommodate more than the demand, um, more than the code requires. Um, and it will keep all the, the cars off the street. There will be no access from Slagle Boulevard. It'll all be on Albany Avenue. Um, and uh, great care was also taken to, to respect the um, setbacks in the rear portion of the building where we abut the residential neighbors. Um, I think that, uh, you know, the sisters certainly were not a noisy use, but I think we will probably be quieter than them because we're not going to be a 24-hour use. It's going to be a, uh, a day, daytime during the week use. So. Um, Great. Yeah, we have that information in the packet. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that was clear for the record. Great. Thank you very much. All right, I'll take a motion to uh, close and reserve by Councilman Mineta, second by Councilman Martinez. All those in favor? Opposed? Hearing is closed, decision reserved. So we won't make a decision on this. If anyone is still interested in submitting comments or questions, they can do that again through the link on the YouTube channel, uh, or they can uh, submit an email directly to me or any of the elected council people uh, to express their concerns or uh, questions that we'll get, be happy to get them answered. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming today. Second public hearing is public hearing reference to amending chapter two, article four, section two eight of the town of Babylon uniform code of traffic ordinances. Don't have any cards, so I'll take a motion from Councilman Martinez, second by Councilman McSweeney to close and reserve. All those in favor? Opposed? Hearing is closed, decision reserved. Third public hearing is a public hearing in reference to amending chapter three, article two, section three four of the town of Babylon uniform code of traffic ordinances. No cards, so I'll take a motion from Councilman McSweeney. Second by Councilman Gregory to close and reserve. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Hearing is closed, decision reserved. That's it for the public hearings. We'll go to the agenda. I don't have any cards on the agenda, so I'll take a motion on the consensus resolution agenda. And I understand that 
There are no resolutions that need to be removed from the consensus resolution agenda, so we can proceed. So I uh, move the consensus resolution agenda. Second. All those in favor? Opposed? Uh, consensus resolution agenda is adopted. Today's resolution agenda, resolution number 19. I'll offer resolution number 19. Second. Would the clerk call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Yes. Councilman Mineta. Yes. Councilman McSweeney. Yes. Councilman Gregory. Yes. Supervisor Schaefer. And I'll abstain. Resolution is adopted. Four votes in favor, one abstention. Resolution 20. Motion to approve. I second. Would the clerk call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Abstain. Councilman Mineta. Yes. Councilman McSweeney. Yes. Councilman Gregory. Yes. Supervisor Schaefer. Yes. Resolutions approved. Four votes in favor. One abstention. Resolution 21. I offer resolution 21. Second. Uh, would the clerk call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Yes. Councilman Mineta. Staying. Councilman McSweeney. Yes. Councilman Gregory. Yes. Supervisor Schaefer. Yes. Resolutions approved. Four votes in favor. One abstention. Resolution 22. I offer resolution 22. Second. Would the clerk call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Yes. Councilman Mineta. Yes. Councilman McSweeney. Yes. Councilman Gregory. Abstain. Supervisor Schaefer. Yes. Resolutions approved. Four votes in favor. One abstention. Resolution 23. Make a motion to approve. Second. Will the clerk call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Yes. Councilman Mineta. Yes. Councilman McSweeney. Abstain. Councilman Gregory. Yes. Supervisor Schaefer. Yes. Resolutions approved. Four votes in favor. One abstention. Resolution 24. I offer resolution 24. Second. All those in favor? Opposed? Resolutions approved. Resolution 25. Make a uh, motion to approve. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Resolutions approved. Resolution 26. Motion to approve. Second. Would the clerk call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Abstain. Councilman Mineta. Yes. Councilman McSweeney. Yes. Councilman Gregory. Yes. Supervisor Schaefer. Yes. Resolutions approved. Four votes in favor, one abstention, or resolution 27. I offer resolution 27. Second. Would the clerk call the roll? Councilman Martinez. Abstain. Councilman Mineta? Yes. Councilman McSweeney? Yes. Councilman Gregory? Yes. Supervisor Schaefer? Yes. Resolutions approved. Four votes in favor. One abstention. That's it for the resolutions. We'll go to the open portion. Uh, Devode Karsney. Would you like to come up? Yep. You, you filled out a card, right? Yeah. Yes. Just uh, give your name and address. Uh, <coughs> Devode Kazrai and 512 Grand Boulevard, Deer Park, New York, 11729. Okay. Reason why I just upset a little bit. I'm sorry? Reason why I'm just a little bit upset. Oh, I you're come sad. back okay. in here. Right. Because I lost everything I have after 42 years in this country. I work hard to survive to get to buy the house, pay the taxes. Now, my house was get fire, fire department. I live in Grand Boulevard. Right. East second, the fire department, like two minutes, if you want to drop yep. to my house. Quarter to, I hear it, 22 minutes get into the house. House is starting a fire in the basement and fire burn it up, coming to the second floor and third floor. No, I'm sorry. Hopefully nobody get hurt. I was the last person to get out. They try to take me to the hospital. I say I'm fine. I gotta take care of this wife and two kids. Now, reason why I was in here back and forth to get an inspection and a house and everything else is going on. Thanks in the God was Tim. Tim Bessemer. Tim Bessemer for the inspection. First day was over there. He hold my hand. He said, don't worry about it. Everything is gonna be okay. I said, listen, what about my motion? Everything I brought it up. How do you have me started? He said, don't worry about it. You not die yet. You not die yet. Yep. You're gonna survive. Mm -hmm. After that, this has happened almost like five and a half months ago. And when was the fire? Five, five months, five, five months. months ago. Okay. Five and a half, couple of days. Okay. Yeah. After so that, you're now you're doing the repair work. 
Yes, repair okay. work, honesty, with the no money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I repair, I start packing it up. Did it, did I you call have in the town, town Pichelle. The girl, but this guy, I would talk to this guy next to you. Terry this, McSweeney. This gentleman was very nice to me and very hopefully he was giving a lot of motion to me. Mm -hmm. I was very, very upset because sure. I lost everything. Right. It's very hard mm -hmm. with age like me to start it again. And anyway, I'm starting. Mm -hmm. Then after that, honesty, day by day, we're just going. Now, I come back to the town. I say, listen, we need, we got to hook it up there. A form, fill it up, you know, a paper. What else you got to do? You mean for a, for a building permit? For the building permit and all this stuff. Okay. Looking in the paper, he said, you got to bring a uh, construction guy to fix everything that costs you three, $4,000 to start it, do the paperwork, all this. Number one, look at my income. I don't have it. Mm -hmm. I don't have the money. Then I start working by myself. A couple of times I was in here, I get a temp to bring it to my house, right. to look in it. Right. Never come out, never. Uh, like maybe f 10, 20, 15 times I was in here to ask somebody, please, this has happened after two months, three months. L listen, somebody come to my house so, looking at so to see I, what else we got to do in Can here. I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Okay. So right now, yes. you're not living at the house. We're living in a trailer next to the house. So a trailer provided by the insurance company? No. No. I bought a, the trailer, the guy, Lake Avenue, is somebody give you- Oh, you didn't have to... homeowner's insurance? No. Oh, thank you. Oh. Love you so much. Okay. Because you bring it up a good point. Okay. The insurance company, reason why I cancel it up, we got it to, I think was, uh, beginning of this year, I think January, we have insurance. Insurance company with the estate firm, about 26 years. After that, they wanted more money, $500 more, $450 more. <coughs> they wanted more, you know, more. Then I call in the DICO because I have car insurance with the DICO. DICO offered me low prices, saving like $500 less. I switched to the DICO. DICO come look at the roof. He said, your roof, you got a problem. You have to fix it. Where was it? That was February. February, I can't fix it, that roof. Then I wait to get there like June, July. Automatic insurance cancel. We don't have no insurance. 30 days after okay, the Okay, but you didn't, you didn't have coverage. We don't have coverage. During the fire. Exactly. Okay, now, so. we go start with the fire. Fire department, the Lake Avenue. Take it 22 minutes to get to the house. Right. I want to do the investigation with this kind of stuff. Okay. 22 minutes to get into the house. Sure. I don't want to happen to me, happen to anyone in here. Sure. Because if you, you lost everything, <laughs> you're going to be somebody else. They're going to be life damage. Life will go away. Right. You so, can't control it. How would that? You so know? Why, don't, why don't we do this? Yes, sir. So you're here. I'm in here, first of all, not because help for the money. I take up myself. I've been here 41 years, I take care of myself. Right. With the hand working, I stay, I'm working hard to survive. Right. Now, reason why I was in here, four or five times passing it, months back and forth to get inspection, come to the house, nobody show up. They mm -hmm. said to me, if you all show up, we're gonna close down everything. Right. I said, well, you better off close down myself, it's okay, wife and two kids, where are you gonna go with that? Right, but why don't we, why don't we start over? So yes, sir. today is January 4th. Yes. Right? You're in the middle of doing work on the home, correct? Yes. Okay. So why don't we start with the building department? We're gonna have Liz White. Um, work. Liz White, they know everything, but every situation because right. more than 50 times, he tried to call security to throw me out, number one. Because last minute, he just to back and forth. To throw you out of where? No, no, I mean like, he get upset, he said, keep going, we're gonna talk, or we're gonna Liz? call you back, yeah. All right, well, let- But Tim was very good to me. Yes. The other inspection, I don't know, that's the new inspection. He, n nobody come to the house yet. 
I know Tim maybe okay, well, we'll talk 25 to, years. We'll talk to Tim. We'll Tim is not in here anymore. Yes, he is. He's, we just h approved hiring him part-time. So oh, yeah? He retired, but he's back. Oh, okay. No Thanks one ever synagogue. leaves here. <laughs> Thanks, synagogue. You know why I well, say it? Because you. Tom know they want to know. Tom is the... Yeah, so Tim's here, but we're gonna... the rule. I, I, I don't want to break the rule anything with the town or anybody else. No, follow the rule. Yes. Well, I'm hard working. You got to be somebody has yep. to be appreciation in here. Yep. So we're going to so we're going to get Tim. Yes. And we're going to give him and a nice project to be in charge of this to Pichu figure out. Number where. 1. Thank you. Okay. And thank you that gentleman sit down next to you. Yes. And Councilman also McSweeney. day one, he was very good to me. He was giving me a lot of motion to me. Sure. He said the wood you not died yet. That's very important thing you said to me. And we wish you well. Thank you. Okay. That's the last question. What about the tax, property tax now? I want to be right now just freeze it to, because we don't have money to pay it. I want to hold in it, come to the investigation, whatever you have to do, you do it. And, you know, after that, with, well, with well, January 10, I got to pay. Right. So you have a bill that's been issued. It became a lien against the property as of December 1st. Uh-huh. Um, the property tax is established and based on your home's assessment. Right. So the assessment year runs from March 1st. Uh, we would have to talk to the assessor yes. about your assessment for yes. this year from yes. the date of the fire okay. and if there's anything that they can do, but that would be the assessor that would have to do it. Your property tax bill okay. is due and so by January 10th, you have to pay whatever the first half is. Um, can they still do part payments? No, that they, they eliminated that. It's just the first half. I'm looking at the tax receiver. Okay. Um, so we're gonna have to find out what your bill is. My question is this. I'm not asking for anybody sorry for me, no. I wanna be somebody come to the house looking where we live in there. Yes. We're living in the trailer. Sure. Sometimes they get cold water. Mm -hmm. For me, it's okay. But two kids and a wife is very hard. Yeah. So if, so if you... I fix everything in the house. Now oh. it's very too hook up there. Oh, before that, I'm sorry I keep everybody time. As a, a diplomat has to come today, do the inspection. Diplomat do the, you the know, the water, inspector. hook up to the gas hook up to the gas. You have natural gas? Natural gas. Right. Has to be hooked up. The problem with that is the two inspection is a, the guy knew for town, you gotta get a paperwork. A I get the paperwork, I fill oh, it up. Oh, you need a licensed plumber. Licensed diploma, exactly. Yeah, because Nat Grid would require that. Nat yeah. Grid will, I get, I get Nat a license. Grid will. I get a licensed diploma, the guy do this, everything, they say okay. You ready to hook it up? Now come out, they said, the license diplomat, that's not for this town. You gotta get somebody else for this town to come hook it up. So there are, where do they have a license? For the ice slip. Okay, well we'll have to ask, we'll ask, a, ask the plumbing board to consider Thank that. you, thank okay. you so much. All right, well we're gonna have Timmy work with you and I'm gonna have- oh, uh, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. I'm, I'm very work with the Timmy because he's a nice man. He, day one, he was dead at the fire. He yes. knows, besides, we built it up a little room. He was all the paperwork, everything, we did it. Right. Besides, I have the Laxian. I want you everybody to know. Oh. I can read and write. Right. My hand is good. Okay, okay so we'll, we'll, we'll be able to help you with that, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I don't have any other cards, right? No. Okay, so I'll take a motion to adjourn from Councilman McSweeney, second by Councilman Gregory. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.